Saints Boniface and Aglaida lived in Rome in the later half of the 3rd century. Aglaida was a Roman noblewoman, very rich and very lecherous. Her master of the house, Boniface, was no better, and they lived in a sinful relationship, or what Facebook would call, it's complicated. The lives of these two saints differ on whether they were pagans or Christians, but their story follows a similar outline. Aglaida heard of suffering of Christians and she desperately wanted to obtain some of the martyrs' relics. In the version of her life where she was a pagan, she probably wanted them as some sort of an amulet to protect herself from evil. In the version where she was a Christian, she believed that the ownership of such relics would obtain for her the powerful intercession of people who suffered for Christ, and thus begin her life of repentance. Boniface himself, despite living in sin, was very merciful and was hospitable to strangers and generous to the poor. Aglaida charged him to go to the city of Tarsus and obtain some of the relics, and for that she gave him precious linens to cover the relics as well as sufficient gold to bribe the local officials to release the bones. Boniface joked with her if she were willing to accept his own relics should he suffer for Christ, to which she scolded him that he shouldn't joke about such an important matter. Upon reaching Tarsus, Aglaida's slaves went to an inn to rest, whereas Boniface immediately went to the amphitheater to witness the martyrdoms, and he beheld a horrific sight. Some people had their eyes gouged out, some had their bones shattered, others had all of their limbs sawn off. Their sole crime was that they confessed Christ as their God and their King. Filled with God's grace, St. Boniface immediately went to the magistrate and confessed himself a Christian. He was offered a way to redeem himself by offering a sacrifice to the idols, but he refused. His horrific torments then began, with offers of infernal salvation offered between the tortures. He was hanged upside down and beaten until his flesh started falling off. They ran iron needles under his nails. He had boiling lead poured down his throat. And finally, he was pushed into a cauldron of hot sap. All these torments left him unharmed and the citizens of Tarsus were so impressed that the city was on the brink of rebellion, with pagan temples and Roman magistrates being pelted with stones. Finally, the magistrate ordered St. Boniface executed by beheading. Aglaida's slaves, still in the inn, thought that the saint was probably looking for relics drunk or with prostitutes. After three days of him not returning to the inn, they grew concerned, but they inquired with the magistrate's brother, who recognized the man they were describing. They recovered his body and his head, wrapped them in precious linens and returned to Rome. Saint Boniface's off-handed joke was, in fact, a prophecy. Saint Aglaida was notified of the arrival of the relics by an angel, who told her that Saint Boniface is no longer her lover, but a brother and a guardian. She set off to meet him with Christian clerics. She built a church over his grave, sold all she had, distributed the proceeds to the poor, and spent the next 18 years in strict penance. Saint Aglaida departed peacefully to the Lord. Saint Boniface is traditionally seen in the Orthodox Christianity as a patron saint of those who struggle with alcoholism. The feast day of the two saints is on December 19th, which would fall on January 1st in churches that use the old Julian calendar, making their feast day all that more proper considering the revelries that follow the New Year's Eve. May the prayers of Saints Boniface and Aglaida be with us always, that the Lord may extinguish our sinful passions, cleanse our hearts, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen.